Hello everyone. Today we will see page objects model feature of Ginger. This feature gives us facility of automatic page learning. So let's begin. In order to launch Form Wizard, you have to go to Resources menu, then select Application Model and Page Object Models. You have to click on this plus sign. Form Wizard will get opened. This is the introduction page. Click on next button here. Page objects learning configuration page will get open. For adding form, there are few prerequisites. First, there should be at least one platform target application. Second, there should be at least one platform agent. And third, site URL which you wish to learn. Here, target application is my web app. Page element setup method automatic learning and manual. We'll keep it as automatic learning only. Then agent setting. Select an agent from the drop down to work with and turn it on by clicking this button. If the selected agent is already raised, the button will be automatically green. Then this window by default. The agent will be opened with the specified page object model page URL. In this case, it is tool QA because I am trying to learn this tool QA site. Then elements learning setting. Learn screenshot of element. If the screenshots are associated with any element, then form will learn those two. Learn only mapped element. There are two types of element, basic elements and advanced element. In basic element, there are button, checkbox, text box, etc. are there. And in advanced element, scroll bar, span, canvas, etc. are there. So select this element as per your need. Then learn elements locator preferences. Locators are mentioned here by ID, by name, by relative XPath, by XPath and by tag name. The sequence of the priority of list locator can be changed by using this arrow button. Then click on this next button. It will start learning this page. You can stop it by using this stop button. Currently, it is in progress. It is learning the element from the page. So, let's wait for some time. So, it is done. If you want to relearn this page, you can do it using this relearn button. So, there are two sections, mapped element and unmapped element. So, mapped element, all the element it is showing in this grid, which we have for the element which we selected on earlier page. Then this unmapped element, if there is any element in this unmapped section and you want to move it to map section, then you can do it using this add element to map list button. If you select any element on this mapped element, its properties, then locators, friendly locators are showing here. There is one button, test all element locator. You can test all these mentioned locator by using this button. Let's click on it. See all are turned green. The status of this is our pass. You can add locator. Then you can remove it. You can copy paste from the existing locator if you have any here. Then if you want to exclude any locator, then you can untick it. It will get excluded from the list. Then there is one spy button. The spying is currently off. Click on it. It will get on. And you can spy the element. Go to the that element. Click uh, control on that uh, keyboard. That element will get highlighted. Come back to Ginger. It will say found element is not included in below element list. Click here to add it. So you have to click here, create new element. 
it will add a new element here see this is tool qa you cannot modify or delete uh, any auto learn element as they are taken from the page and in order to maintain the page we should keep them as is so if you try to delete it or modify it it will not allow you the element you are trying to delete has been learned automatically from the page and cannot be deleted but manually added element can be modified and deleted as per your need so click on next you can give any name here add the description and click on finish button your form is ready to use that's it for this video thank you for watching